Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract mixed numbers with borrowing. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have nine and one sixth minus five and a half. And the first thing that I like to do is set these problems up vertically, so up and down. We have nine and one sixth minus five and a half. So the fractions are lined up and the whole numbers are lined up. So can we subtract this problem as is? No, because the fractional part of these mixed numbers do not have common denominators, so we can't subtract. So we need to find a common denominator and rename. So the least common denominator for a six and a two is going to be six. So let's rename with that common denominator. So nine and how many sixths? minus five, and how many sixths? Well, one sixth, that already has a denominator of six, so we don't need to rename. Now, as far as one half, we know that two times three is six, so we need to do the same thing to the top in order to keep this equivalent. One times three is three. So now we have renamed fractions with that common denominator of six, so we are able to subtract. But we have one sixth minus three sixths, so we can't do one minus three, so we need to borrow. And just like when we borrow with whole numbers, we're going to borrow from the place to the left. So we're going to borrow from the whole number nine there. So we need to take one from the nine, so it's now an eight. Now we need to add one to that one sixth but we need to add one whole in fractional form. So what we're going to do, we are going to use the denominator of six, because remember, we need common denominators when we add fractions, and we're going to put six over six, because that equals one whole. And again, I picked six over six because this denominator is six, and we need common denominators in order to add fractions. So now we have, eight and one plus six is seven over six minus five and three sixths. Now we're able to subtract. So seven minus three, that gives us four sixths. And the whole numbers now, eight minus five is three. So that's our answer but always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. So we have four sixths, which we have a common factor between our numerator, the top number, and our denominator, the bottom number, two. So we can divide both of those by two in order to simplify. So we end up with three and two thirds as our simplified final answer. So let's go on to number two, where we have eight and two thirds minus two and six sevenths. So let's line this up vertically, set it up vertically. Eight and two thirds minus two and six sevenths. So can we subtract that problem as is? Can we subtract those fractions? No, we need a common denominator. So the least common denominator for a three and a seven is going to be 21. So let's rename. We have eight and how many 21sts? Minus two and how many 21sts? Well, we know that three times seven is 21, so we need to do the same thing to the top in order to keep this equivalent. Two times seven is 14. We know seven times three is 21, so we need to do the same thing to the top. Six times three is 18. So we have eight and 14 over 21 minus two and 18 over 21. So we are able to uh, move through the process here and go to subtract, but we can't subtract. We can't do 14 minus 18, so we need to borrow. So let's borrow from the eight 
and that's now going to be a 7. Let's add one whole here, and we're going to do it in fractional form, 21 over 21, right? We need that common denominator in order to add these fractions, and we get 7, 14 plus 21, that's going to give us 35 over 21, minus 2, and 18 over 21. So now we can subtract after we just borrowed there. So 35 minus 18, that's going to give us 17 21sts. And our whole numbers, 7 minus 2, is 5. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. 17 and 21, the only common factor is 1, so it is in simplest form, and 5 and 17 21st is our final answer. So there you have it. There's how you subtract mixed numbers with borrowing. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.